In this video, two Swedish guys, Jonas and Andreas, are going to show you how they converted an old petrol tuk-tuk into a 100% solar-powered electric one with a budget under 1,000 US dollars. This project took place during their winter vacation on the beautiful island of Koh Lanta in Thailand. One day, it struck them that this island would be even more beautiful if they could help reduce the pollution. A big vision can start small. They decided to do this by electrifying one tuk-tuk at a time. And they hope this video will inspire others to join their vision. So off they went to begin their fun project that may change the world. There was no time to waste even when they were on vacation. First things first, they needed to buy a tuk-tuk. With the help of their local friends, Planet and Solai, they found an old Suzuki that was in near scrap condition. But it was good enough for their purpose and they got a deal. Paying 8,000 baht or about 250 US dollars for it. Well, it was not an easy task just driving this old tuk-tuk back to the workshop at the slow down resort where the guys were staying. And when they finally got there, they couldn't wait to bring out the tools and let the fun begin. Let's start with a new motor. They sourced a smart motor from China which of course couldn't fit the space, so they had to get creative with some sawing and welding to get it to fit. Right now, now it's probably more direct, yeah? yeah, yeah. Next, they attached the sidecar and connected a battery. So basically, after putting in just a few critical components, they already had a drivable electric tuk-tuk. The first test drive actually exceeded their expectations. Next, let's give this whole vehicle a fresh look, shall we? Remember that for Swedes, things have to be functional and stylish. So let's bring out the paints and brushes and let the kids have some fun. Then they continued with more welding and drilling under the blazing sun in Thailand. They extended the roof and reinforced the structure so they could fit a large solar panel as a roof. They replaced the suspensions and most of the electronics and of course put in LED lights to conserve energy. It's starting to look good and quickly getting attention from the locals. They loved that it's electric and even more fascinated when they saw that it could go in reverse gear, something a Petro Toto could never do. Welcome to the electric age and new possibilities. Now it's time to take this nearly complete electric tuk-tuk for a longer test drive and collect some data. The result was satisfactory, but the power consumption was optimal only at moderate speed. The solar panel and charging also worked quite well. For example, in a test drive for a family of four, they could drive it for about 10 kilometers, stayed at the beach for three hours while the tuk-tuk recharged from the sun and made the same journey back with zero energy costs and zero emission. 
And to give this tuk-tuk a final touch from nature, they made a beautiful passenger backrest from a piece of driftwood they found on the beach. How cool was that? That was the perfect final touch and the project is now complete. The guys did it. They transformed an old, dirty, noisy tuk-tuk into a cleaner, quieter electric one that is low cost to operate and it even looks good. When the time came for Jonas and Andreas to return home to Sweden, they decided to donate the tuk-tuk to an environmental organization that collects and recycles plastic waste for Kolanta. The tuk-tuk is now in good hands and hopefully it will continue to inspire more clean energy projects to reduce pollution, one tuk-tuk at a time. This had truly been a fun project for Jonas and Andreas and made their vacation extra special. And to thank Juanette and Solai for their help on this project, Jonas and Andreas gave them a solar upgrade for their boat so they could run a fan at night and charge up devices. Once again, this reminded us that the possibilities from clean energy are endless and can do so many things to make people's lives better. <laughs>